Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Huda London. This is for entertainment purpose only. Please like, share, and subscribe. Brian Koberger his trial is gonna start on the second of October. Brian says he has an alibi. He's a night rider. Allegedly, he likes to drive at night. And he said that he wasn't at the areas of the residence where the murders took place. This is going to be an interesting trial because I personally, and this is only my opinion, believe that there are more people involved. Brian Koberger could have been rented, allegedly, to do this crime. He could have had his own personal issues with the victims. And he took it too far. Or it could be possible that he wasn't even there. All the people we knew from the start who were involved in this case were ruled out too quickly. We need to find the connection between Brian Christopher Koberger and the students. Brian was a teacher. While he was studying his, P his last semester in, P in his PhD, I believe. Or was Brian Koberger possibly suffering of a psychosis when he did this? Did he have a psycho psychosis episode? Because that could explain that could explain why he could have committed this crime without even knowing why he did it in a way. Like having a psychosis episode that carries symptoms of hallucination, delusions. That is possible. I'll give you a very good example. The Darlene, Darlene Brown case, if you'll remember Cash Gurnan, the two-year-old twin boy who was brutally murdered in Houston, and his body was out on the street, trigger warning. Darlene Brown has been evaluated of psychiatrists after the crime. And they say clearly he suffers of schizophrenia and bipolar. He wasn't taking obviously his medications, going to therapy. And we know that Darlene Brown was on drugs. All that can have a part to play if you had any childhood traumas. So when Darlene, Darlene Brown killed baby Cash Gurnan, he was having a psychosis episode. So that can be possible. But I don't think Brian Koberger is a person who's going to admit to having any mental or physical issues. We know that he suffers of the snow vision. And he's, he spoke about it, about his depression, and he was dealing with sleepless nights, he was questioning his brains. He was wondering what is life about, the purpose of life. He said he feels empty. I believe he was really struggling mentally. But that is up to 
and Taylor if he wants to get a psychiatrist evaluation done, but I don't think he wants to do that. Let's not forget that Brian Kohlberger used to use heroin before for five years. So the question is, could he have relapsed? And we've heard plenty of rumors. And we've seen a lot of fishy things going on in the college campus. We've heard there was drugs. I saw someone putting something in Maddie's mouth. So what was this about? Could have Brian Koberger gotten all these students because that was a party house? May the rest in peace. Was he driving around that area to get something? There are thousands of uh, Hyundai Elantras that are white color. So was it him or was it somebody imitating him? Was it someone trying to plant it on him? Everything is possible. This is going to be an interesting trial, I believe. And I believe that the work wasn't done properly. The crime scene wasn't wasn't conducted well. The FBI joined this case five days later on the 17th. The crime scene could have been tampered with since it took, allegedly, the two surviving roommates eight hours to call the police. You can imagine what he can do in 10 minutes. How about eight hours? A lot can be done in eight hours. Furniture could have been moved around. The bodies could have been moved around. And I wonder if Brian Koberger allegedly could have known Bethany or Dylan Mortison. Why doesn't ben Bethany want to come to trial? Why did Aunt Taylor have to go all the way to Nevada to get her statements? We have the glove that was found near the house. The coroner said that this was a bloody scene. The police officer who first came into the scene said that the place smelled of, it was overwhelming smell of blood. But yet on the outside of the house and around, you don't see any proper, you don't see any blood actually. So was this pre-planned? Were allegedly the, uh, the people of interest, suspects, could they have been waiting inside the house, hiding maybe in the fireplace, if they have a fireplace, or maybe hiding in the stores, storage rooms. Let's not forget the person who entered this house and did this brutal, horrific crimes did not use any force. So this wasn't a robbery that went wrong. This was a pre-planned murder. Murders, actually. Quadruple murders. At the beginning of this case, the detectives had a couple of people in their mind. And I'm sure those couple of people have to be the roommates. Let me actually put that in better order. Not the roommates, actually. The multiple people and the roommates 
that call law, enfor law enforcement eight hours later. Why do I just have this feeling that there were others involved, but everything is going to be pinned on Brian Koberger? There was a diamond-shaped diamond footprint that was found in the house. So that is interesting too. There was fingerprints that were found behind the good vibe picture. And I will show you all that in the following clip. Many people have been arguing and discussing with me about that, saying that, no, that isn't true. The thing is, people need to go back, do their research, and start the case from the beginning. Because you will find out that there's so many important information that we lacked from the start, or that we weren't paying attention to. Because let's not forget, six weeks before Brian Christopher Koberger was arrested, there was a lot going on. It was a mayhem in Idaho, Moscow College. This is going to be an interesting trial. But I don't believe that Bethany and Dylan Mortison were sleeping at all. And I don't believe Jack D was sleeping at all. He was at the bar clearly. Jack D needs to answer what happened. What did the girl say, Adam? Adam? Maybe should explain a bit. Or maybe Ann Taylor will make them all explain in the court. Have a good day. Please like, share and subscribe.